Romelius is a, an ASX listed, listed gold producer. We've been in continuous production since 2006. Our current run rate is 200,000 ounces a year and on Monday we entered the ASX 300. Current market cap is around 500 million Aussie, got over $100 million in the bank and no debt. Uh, a nice compact board and an experienced management team. Um, you can see that we've had a very strong run in the last three months. Um, I'll talk to the reasons why that, but largely um, deal certainty around some recent acquisitions um, and also obviously more recently that entry to the ASX 300 has led to um, some very strong volumes and high liquidity for Romelius. Uh, in summary, we have two production centres or production hubs as we call them, one at Mount Magnet and one at Edna May. Um, at Mount Magnet itself, we actually have some open pit and underground operations and that's supplemented by high grade feed from the Vivian gold mine some 300 k's to the east. Um, those combined assets in FY19 will produce 125,000 ounces. Um, the Edna May hub has also uh, some open pit reserves at Greenfinch. We've just started an underground mine at, at Edna May itself uh, and we'll be looking to truck in um, from MARTA in the first instance uh, a, couple, a couple hundred kilometres to the north of Edna May uh, whilst we're doing a strategic review at the Tampia Hill asset um, to decide whether we have a standalone processing facility or whether we follow our usual path which is a truck to existing assets. Um, the Edna May centre will produce in FY19 75,000 ounces which gives us our 200,000 ounce run rate for FY19. Um, our strategy has been to add value by acquisition um, and be, by being good miners and good processors and build a track record along those lines. Um, our recent acquisitions we believe add mine life along with our exploration uh, efforts. We're always looking for a third production hub. What we believe is that a 300,000 ounce um, producer would take us to the next level. Currently we're at that 200,000. We're looking ideally for a third 100,000 ounce per year asset. But we're not in any rush. We've obviously just completed some recent acquisitions and we've got to bed those down, those down first. As mentioned, we have a strong balance sheet, um, no debt, gives us maximum flexibility and nimbleness uh, if the right opportunity does come along. One thing you can't control with these things is the timing of them. And we'll con continue to focus on efficient mining practices um, and processing um, efficiencies despite a growing business. Um, we've grown the business quite strongly over the last three or four years, especially the last 12 months, um, maintaining discipline on costs and being at, a, at or around $1,200 an ounce Aussie all-in sustaining cost is what we're targeting. Our recent acquisitions give us the belief that we can shoot for a million ounces of reserves, ideally by the middle of the year. This is obviously a key milestone for the company because it really does support a five-year at 200,000 ounce run rate, which we think is a, is a key target and what especially institutional shareholders are looking for at Romelius. Our 2017 acquisition at Edna May has already been a success. For a, a $38 million investment, we've returned over 65 million in cash, produced over 130,000 ounces uh, at a very handy return on investment and there's still plenty more to come not only in the underground operation that we've kicked off, but in the fact that the mill itself, we believe, is going to become a very strategic asset in that part of Western Australia, firmly established as a new production centre. Mentioned the strong balance sheet, no debt. We're ready, as always, to execute on our growth strategy. 2020 looks even stronger again, again another record year, uh, similar to the last presentation, we're probably on about fourth year of record production in a row. Um, 230 to 250 um, puts us uh, sort of at the top end I think of production from those two assets, I think you're good for between 200 and 250. Um, ideally that is fleshed out a little further in our life of mine plan that we're going to put out later in the June quarter once we've uh, establish the exact reserves and resources at our new acquisitions which is taking place over the next couple of months. A lot of detail on this slide, it's really about FY19, it, what we're going to produce in FY19 is 200,000 ounces at about 1,200 all in sustaining. Um, the capex 
on the right hand side, a bit hard to see, it's higher than typically would be the case at Romelius. We typically spend about 50 or 60 million dollars on capex which does include Greenfield's exploration. Uh, but the good thing is that that investment in capex, this half especially, we get immediate payback um, with record production in FY20. I'll quickly run through the assets. Mount Magnet, six million ounce gold camp on and off for the last hundred years. We've been there for the last seven. Initial mining focus was in the banded iron rocks uh, around the galaxy mining area. We've moved the focus down to Cosmos, which are in different rocks around porphyries, and we're finding new ore bodies, to cut a long story short, which is quite surprising for a mining engineer in an area when you know we've been mining for 100 years and we're finding new types of ore bodies. So uh, this is uh, a mature camp, but we believe it's the 10 million ounce camp, um, uh, without a doubt. We've got a mill at the top right, sorry, the top centre at about a 1.9 million tonne run rate and the town is in the bottom right where the camp is and we fly in. This whole picture is about a five kilometre by five kilometre. Two new operations they'll soon be uh, in the Bugatti Basin or those porphyry rocks that I alluded to earlier. Shannon is a 45 degree dipping quartz vein at about five grams underneath an existing pit. No one believed that um, there was many open pit opportunities in the Bugatti Basin, let alone underground opportunities. We're finishing off the pit there in blue shortly. By May we'll um, ideally have our portal started and we'll be into that underground. On the right hand side, Eridanus is a new pit sitting right between two existing pits. Uh, the reason why it probably wasn't mined or discovered was because of the 15 metres of cover, but it's a nice base load uh, open pit for the, for the mill. We've probably grown that pit to about 100,000 ounces at 1.2, 1.3 grams. That works quite effectively, um, along with the high grade at Shannon. 300 k's to the east of Mount Magnet is the Vivian project. It's been our star performer for the last couple of years, primarily because the costs are around $1,000 an ounce all in sustaining. We started off when we purchased the asset off gold fields for $10 million with 100,000 ounces of gold. We've produced 100,000 and we've still got 100,000 ounces left, primarily in extensions and, and increased width in the main zone of the ore body, but the real prize is at depth. And that's what we're currently drilling. We've just recently commenced a drilling program to follow up on some nice hits in red. Those red dots we, uh, were 2017 results, obviously not enough to justify extending the decline, but we're gonna complete it uh, probably a two-month program to, to really drill that area out and ideally can extend this operation at depth. Um, on down to Edna May, we've reconstructed the exploration ground really from Edna May all the way down to Gib, Gib Rock in the south at some 130 kilometres. Independence Gold did own all this ground at one stage and sold it off, so when we bought Edna May we actually only bought a very small part of this package. We've spent two to three million dollars over the last 12 months reconstructing this exploration ground which gives us um, plenty of exploration options going forward. At Edna May itself we decided against a big stage three cutback, we've gone underground, um, the much lower risk, lower capex option, um, the resources are open at depth, we've got a modest initial reserve of 61,000 ounces at close to five grams but um, we believe there are extensions and that's quite clearly evidenced by the fact that all the results you see on the on the schematic including the seven meters at 16 at about 200 meters below the current mine plan are not in um, even inferred resource so what we're probably going to be doing over the next couple of months is drilling from surface uh, to extend this um, reserve as we believe it will marta Recent acquisition, a couple hundred kilometres north of Southern Cross. We believe this is a 100 to 150,000 ounce uh, proposition. It fits our trucking model perfectly. We're in the process of uh, working out what we need to do with roads and infrastructure to get this into production by the middle of the year. Uh, quickly on Tampier Hill, we're in compulsory acquisition of Explorum, which um, delivers us the Tampier Hill project. Uh, Explorum's own numbers suggest that a healthy resource of 675,000 ounces and a reserve of close to half a million. We're doing our own work on that. We're calling it a strategic review. We'll finish that by the end of April, uh, as we say. And that consists of drilling, MET test work, hydro environment work, um, talking with the Shire, talking with um, local stakeholders. We'll get to that decision point by the end of the April. We've cleaned up the corporate uh, structure and we've transferred the exploration team across.
Um, despite our recent run up, we're still cheap, especially compared to the guys on the left hand side of the graph. Uh, we're the seventh largest producer in Australia. We've got a strong track record and we're looking to um, deliver, further deliver on growth. And I'll leave it there. Thank you very much.